My name is Dimitrios Stoltzinos and I studied for the MRS clinical research in the pathway of translational medicine um, and uh, this was uh, on the one year course rather than the two year course. Imperial has ranked uh, very consistently in the top 10 in the world and top 3 in the UK for a very long period of time uh, and uh, as you someone who's looking to advance their career, uh, going through an institution like that is definitely you know, a tech that you should have on your list. So it's a very specialized college in um, science and medicine and that's my main uh, interest. So it was um, a no-brainer really to come down here and try and get um, a course here. Translational medicine is uh, basically the concept of bench to bedside and back, so applying basic research into clinical medicine. And uh, as we're moving towards an era of stratified medicine, that is uh, personalized medicine, so every patient is not the same, then uh, you know, communicating between the scientific research and clinics is very important. I was looking for a course that bridged those two concepts, and my background is both clinical and research-based, so it was uh, a, a very easy choice for me to go for something like that. Whenever I look for something in a course is first of all uh, to have something new, something fairly challenging, uh, for me to learn something, uh, for me to learn something on something that I enjoy and uh, perhaps get something out of it that I can get ownership from. And um, with translational medicine and in particular this course, um, I had uh, insight into clinical trials, into how scientific research is being uh, implemented in uh, sort of shaping uh, the NHS and the NICE guidelines and um, how uh, clinical trials are designed and the pitfalls along the way of course because without them we wouldn't really have good clinical practice. It's um, four one-week modules that are taught and then the rest of it is just a year-long project. Um, so the, the research outweighs the taught component and it is a Masters of Research after all, it's not an MSc. Obviously no one uh, on the course, unless they had designed um, a project already, um, they weren't really allocated one in, the, in terms of uh, being spoon-fed a project. So uh, during the interview process you get uh, extensively into what you're interested in, what your background is and then you get some guidance in terms of what potential projects would be quite good for you. I myself went down the route of uh, knowing the areas of expertise that uh, I quite liked, so I contacted supervisors myself um, and uh, Professor de Belarus who is the one that I worked with. Um, I had uh, quite a good discussion with her prior to the beginning of the project, we designed the project and that was that. Uh, I, I wanted to have something out of the course that I would take uh, quite a lot of ownership uh, of and um, the, these sort of projects mean that you have an adequate amount of time to design and understand and dig really deep into the project itself, uh, whilst I think that would be less possible if you had a lot of rotations. So we might, you know, in that case you might be able to get some results out of uh, your project but you will be thrown into a project that's already running, whilst uh, with this you get full understanding of what you're doing and uh, at the same time you know, because there is such a huge, uh, because the research has a huge proportion of the course, if I hadn't enjoyed the research, I wouldn't have enjoyed the course, I don't think. I will be doing some uh, further work here as an external researcher uh, in order to um, finish off some work and do uh, potentially get a few publications out of the project that I've had. And then uh, I have kept my options uh, open and I will either go back to clinics or uh, uh, pursue a PhD again here at Imperial because I've quite enjoyed my time. Um, and I suppose that's uh, the good thing about the course itself is that because it uh, offers uh, a lot of scope uh, for um, different projects, whether you're a pure scientist, whether you're a medic or whether you're a healthcare professional, it means that you're equipped with quite a lot of tools to do a few different things. So if, for example, I wanted to um, get a job in uh, the design and management of clinical trials in a completely desk uh, based job than I could. So uh, that was another bonus of the course itself because it gives you quite a lot out of it.
The course organisers and especially the administrative staff uh, have been very helpful. Having been part of the student staff uh, postgraduate committee, we'll be having people from the career service coming over and doing full days here, offering advice with CVs and uh, um, sort of uh, points for the future and things like that and uh, offering advice on where to get uh, from the course onwards and um, uh, other than that uh, I've basically had a very good relationship with the course organizers and my supervisors so which is something that every student should cultivate uh, but there are a lot of um, collateral support uh, that you could turn to uh, to be advised in terms of what you want to do in the future.